The Day of Remembrance commemorates the signing of Executive Order 9066 by President Franklin Roosevelt on February 19, 1942, which led to the incarceration of over 120,000 people of Japanese ancestry into concentration camps throughout the United States. This year marks the 77th anniversary of the signing of Executive Order 9066. If we do not act, we shall surely be dragged down the long, dark, and shameful quarters of time reserved for those who possess power without compassion, might without morality, strength without sight. Please join us in our struggle. Never again is now. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of South Wales Family Association, I really want to thank the NOC for inviting us year after year at their Day of Remembrance. Every year, when we look at the list of all the events that you want to participate in, this one is always circled as one of the most important ones. And there is a very good reason behind it. It's because the South Bay Japanese Association was one of the first ones that came to our door to support us and all the other Muslims in Bay Area post 9 11. We are living under a presidential administration that has passed over seven executive orders on immigration, which include the wall, enforcement in the interior, the tribal ban, the Buy American, High American, which is targeting highly skilled immigrants, and the end of deferred action for childhood arrivals. <laughs> we are living a time in which the current administration has decided not to follow government court agreements regarding the treatment of children, uh, of incarcerated children. labeling us, Japanese Americans, as inscrutable, treacherous, sly beings who were potential saboteurs who didn't deserve the protection of citizenship. Whipping up suspicion, fear, and loathing seems to work every time. And today, we are told we have to build walls we have the privilege of having Art's wife, Betty Shibayama, who was incarcerated at Tule Lake in Minidoka. She's joined by her daughter, Becky. We're also honored to have Jimmy's wife, Eiko Yamaichi. Travelers having nothing to do with terrorism were detained. U.S. citizens were stranded abroad and families were separated. Thousands of uh, validly issued visas were canceled. Hundreds with such visas were prevented from boarding airplanes or denied entry when they landed, including refugees running for their lives from war and terror who had already undergone a stringent 18-month vetting process. 